My name is Ryan Knudsen. I'm 23 years old and I'm the owner of Compound CrossFit in Chesapeake, Virginia. I found CrossFit roughly three and a half years ago, um, kind of in a time where I, I needed something to fill in an activity and uh, some sort of um, family that I could find from a, a sport. And uh, I lost my mom when I was 17 years old. She died of lung cancer. Um, when we found out that she got cancer, the doctor gave her three months to, to live. and She ended up lasting a year and a half. Uh, to, to what they said. She was always battling even when she was told to rest, you know, not to go to the gym, just gonna um, make it tougher to heal. She would always be at the gym at like five in the morning, five, six days a week, working out, getting fit, and uh, and that actually made her live a lot longer than, than expected and anticipated by by the doctors. You know, she was, I remember it was like the day of her chemo treatment, she was asking if she could go to the gym, and I don't know, you know, all those chemicals getting pumped into you. Um, that's probably the last thing 99% of the people want to do is to go do any straining or physical activity. So that's something that I learned from her and continue to carry into my my day-to-day -day life with CrossFit, with my career, with you know school, everything. Just to keep on battling, and even when chips are down and the odds are against you, um, you just got to keep fighting for what what you believe in. And sometimes you can just prove people wrong. The way it started was alone and a risk. I was, you know, a young guy, uh, 21 years old, with not a whole lot of a credit or a credibility to my name to, to get the loan. So luckily, I had a, a pretty or have a pretty decent car and um, put it up for collateral. And after about six weeks of paperwork and uh, and a cosign, I finally got approved and finally got the money to to open up the doors here at, at the gym. But it it definitely wasn't, you know, one of those go in and walk out five minutes later with the loan. It was something that, that took a lot of work and uh, kind of take a, a bigger risk than I was willing to take at the time, but kind of took a leap of faith for it. And it, it, it's been uh, one of the, the best decisions I've made in my life so far. We've had a steady membership increase. The atmosphere here has gone through the roof and continue to go through the roof every single month. The community aspect of the, the gym here has been phenomenal. I mean, the, the people that you surround yourself with daily it, is just bar none. I mean, you can't really find this sort of atmosphere in any other gym, any other sport. Um, and it's just really rare to, to be a part of that at such a, at such a young age. done the open the last three years and been putting in a lot of work this year been working on a lot of weaknesses and really hoping to qualify for one of the top 20 spots to to make it to the uh, the 2015 mid-atlantic regional
when I'm not coaching or uh, training or doing personal training, I'm, I'm studying to become a, a doctor of physical therapy. That's a really uh, time consuming, demanding degree to, to go for. Really competitive just to get into the field itself. So a lot of my hours are going into that, studying day in and day out and just trying to get you know, the A's and B's I need to achieve that goal so I can someday tie the, the passion that I have with CrossFit with the, the physical therapy help people get fit and then you know when things go wrong or if things go right just as far as preventative maintenance being able to keep the, uh, the human body running optimal. Um, so that's something that I've also found to be a really big passion of mine and uh, I'm going to attack that just like I've attacked getting, uh, getting my gym, becoming a coach and uh, becoming an athlete in CrossFit.